In round five, Badam clinched the championship in a late breakdown by Post let Banshee coast to victory. Now it's a dogfight for second place. The finale, next. You are watching the RRL RC Car Backyard Racing League. Hi again everybody, Cam Cohen here for the four-wheel drive buggy backyard RC championship race. We'll be joined by Tyler Hooks momentarily, but first let's check in with some racers. How do they feel? Good. That's really all I have to say about that one. You have to come out of the hairpin before it perfectly, because if you don't, then you can't get on the gas hard enough to make it. It's something different for me because the tracks are really hard, and I like challenges in this. It's much cooler today than, than we've had uh, normally. It's a whole different ball game. The track is cooler, you gotta have a different tire compound, so you know, gotta make sure that everything still works. The new jump is, is great. That's definitely gonna mix things up over that area. I'm trying to go out with a bang. I wanna win. I have the car. It's all about putting down consistent laps, not crashing, and just running my race. The Backyard RC Racing Championship is presented by AmainHobbies.com, your RC off-road headquarters, free shipping on eligible orders, and by 3D RC Racing, your RC car parts reimagined. Click the links in the description to learn more. A look back in 2021 and our Extreme Speedway got a makeover that made a day like today possible. Our latest YouTube poll voted young wheelman Braden Banshi as a second place series finisher and race winner this afternoon. Here now is the A-Main Hobby starting grid. Jack Benam took down TQ today by just four tenths of a second over Greenwood Jr. in post. Benam will be sitting out today's A-Main with the series championship and top qualifying clinched. It's green flag racing for the inaugural four-wheel drive buggy series finale. We're pleased to be joined now by Live RC correspondent and J Concepts event manager, Tyler Hooks. Tyler, how do you get started in the hobby? My parents race real circle track cars, and so I did a little bit of that when I was a kid. Kind of was a little too scared to do it well as a young little guy. Got into RC cars when I was a little bit older, and uh, kind of went from there. Let's hear your favorite accomplishment with RC racing. I'd say that I have a couple. Getting to attend the Worlds in 2016 was really cool. Got it. Winning a Roar stock title for 13.5 for wheel drive buggy was, was fun. Of course. Getting a podium at the RC Chili Bowl, that was pretty neat. Mm. Oh, uh, making the, the Reedy race oh, open yeah. main event, that was a big deal. There are certain things where it's like, you know, obviously it means a lot to you, but it means a lot to a lot of people, and those are kind of the ones that are special. Hey, what kind of tires would you run today with the cooler temps? It looks like either a black or a green hybrid type of day. Maybe a triple D or something similar to that. Who knew that pro racers in backyard racers can think alike. J Concepts double D's and pro line hole shots like our leaders rocking are the way to go this afternoon. For Post, despite a handful of podiums, he's looking to get his first win of the series. He's dealt with bad luck in just about every other race. Here's the important jump section as we see the Kyosho ZX7 of Banshi get around Post. What's your take on the jump? I would jump it as far as I possibly can. My philosophy is that the more time you spend in the air, the less time you have to think about what you're doing on the ground. Oh, that belongs on a pillow. I'm not sure that it's the best idea all the time, but it's definitely life words. Stay up to speed on all of our Dirt Track RC Racing content by liking, subscribing, and ringing the bell to youtube.com slash RRLRC. Here with Tyler Hooks, post our leader now. Oh, he gets caught along the tubing. Bocce overtakes him for first. Lap traffic will now be a factor. Tyler, what's your mentality on the driver's stand if you're leading a championship kind of race with a lot of time left? It really sucks sometimes to be out front by yourself. You don't really have like a rabbit's chase or anything to think about. So all you can really do is honestly not really try to go any slower, but like try to keep up the pace that you've been doing and just act like there is somebody still that you're chasing. Guys, now on the battle for third place. Greenwood Jr. chasing that proverbial rabbit. That's me and the Pinked Wing Team Associated B74. Speaking of Team Associated, what is it like to represent them in conjunction with Jay Concepts? Team Associated has had a really long-standing relationship with Jay Concepts. Our founder and owner, Jason Rona, has been a, a Team Associated driver for over 25 years. He did develop a EJ4, which actually, ironically, is what turned into the B44, which is what turned into 
into the B64 and then into the B74 that most of the, the guys that were running out here today. It actually all comes from uh, Jason's original design. They've always had a good relationship and moving into this year, I wanted to make a switch on the chassis I was running for and team associated was an easy choice, whether I want to run 10 scale carpet or dirt or I want to run eight scale. It's been nice. It's been easy. Parts are cheap, easy to find and makes it nice. No, our leader Bonchi stuck upside down in turn seven. Post is there to power by and retake the lead. While that wild action was going down, Greenwood Jr. managed to squeeze by me to climb back up to third place. Two tight battles on the track right now. One and two around the sweeper. Oh, they make door-to-door -door contact. If you're just joining us, the stakes are high. The race winner today outside of the purple buggy of Joe Nola will finish in second place on the series. And the loser can drop as low as fifth place. More contact between our race leaders, Post and Banshee. Let's take a second look. Definitely just, you know, trying different lines and stuff like that, making a little bit of a mistake. The young driver is, but uh, holding on to that second place position here at the moment. And then there was a spill from Greenwood Jr. in third. I overtook him to get back third place. Two minutes to go in what's been an action-packed backyard finale. Down the straight, our leaders go, entering turn one. Bocci goes to work on post, and this time he gets the pass. Tyler, America needs to know, is there a difference in your race strategy in a point series race versus a one-off race? Honestly, not really. Like, whenever you start to kind of think about what you need to do or don't need to do, then you screw it up, I think. So I kind of try to stay present in the moment. Post right on the back bumper of Bocci, who landed very nose-heavy over the jump. Tough, tough break for him. Post gets back to the point. 90 seconds to go. Oh, and Post, he knows where every rock is located here on this track, except that one. Bonchi slingshotted back right behind Post again. He's been pretty inconsistent these last four laps. Who want to keep it clean. Brain running away, making the corner that time. Oh, until the marshal clips him. Post now back to the front. Oh, in frustration for Bonchi. I'll take over second place. This last minute is presented by A-Main Hobbies, your number one trusted source for all your RC racing needs. Around the sweeper now, oh, and it's Bocci taking the bump and run to new heights. <laughs> you gotta love this. From second to fourth place, I go. Tyler, what do you love the most about RC racing? Just the competition and, and the pursuit. You know, somebody explained to me, you, you can never be perfect, but you can always try to achieve excellence. So I'm kind of doing that if I can. Well, it's a three-way battle for second, and these cars are nowhere near excellent right now. With under a minute, we might be having some brain fade for our field here. Post off your screen. Pulling away from the pack now, what do you have to say about these racers who ultimately don't win? It's about setting goals and giving yourself things that you can realistically attain. You know, whether that's making the main event at the Backyard Championship Finals or it's making the main event at the Silver State in the Pro Buggy class. It's all relative. Bonchi in second gets it wrong off the modified jump. Greenwood Jr. will come around, but Bonchi keeps it moving. Pretty big track cut, but uh, I don't make the rules for the Backyard Racing League, so... Rules are out the window at this stage of the game. Bocci will finish in second, Greenwood Jr. to third, Colin to fourth, and Post, your A-Main winner. He'll finish the series in second. The 3DRC Racing A-Main results have Brent Post answering the bell with a win on historically his best track. Let's hear it from our second place series finisher now. It was good to actually put a good run together. and I take where I finished, but was I happy with it? No, I should have definitely done a lot better. I like driving fast. I like putting the fast laps in, hence like almost all the classes on fast lap leader, but it doesn't translate to race wins. The competition was a lot better and it made for very, very good racing. It's been a competitive points battle right down to the final race. What a great season. Jack Benam, your series winner. And with the points drop, little Braden Bocci overtakes me for fourth. I'll have to settle for fifth. This is gonna be a long, long off season. Tyler Hooks, thank you for jumping on the call and best of luck at Silver State and qualifying for the world championship. Thank you, I appreciate that. Time now to hand out the trophies presented by yours truly. It's Captain Consistency Jack Benam taking down the TQ honors. Don Greenwood Jr. after a rough series start squeaked by to finish in third. The Speed King Brent Post with a lights out performance today managed to take home second. And here he is again, folks. It's Captain America, your league champ. It was a fantastic season. Very little time made horrible contact that caused you know, arguments. So it was very clean, very courteous. Really, it comes down to just experience. You know, as everyone knows, 34 years of racing, you figure things out. You know, it was just having the right equipment. That was always a 
challenge having tires that work in these dirt conditions because there's not as easy to find loose dirt race tires. Being sponsored at this stage in the game is more about helping the next guys come up. If I see someone who has the potential or just needs that information that they're lacking, that's where my job comes in. In some cases, hey, the student becomes a master and that's been the case with Braden and I think Don. You know, I helped them with tires and driving tips and they took it and ran. The full drive buggy was pretty good. It means a lot because I was two races late. The fourth overall with the four-wheel drive was impressive in my opinion. Started from pole, got pushed to the end, fought my way all the way back up to the leaders and then lost it. Lost it and then lost my chance to kind of take the win. It was kind of up and down the field the entire race but it was fun. You got to tough it out sometimes. I had some rough first two races. You'll see the round two footage. I, I clipped the pipe. I, I tried to rearrange the track with my car. It was rough. Gutting it out and I think I had one victory and, and a couple podiums and uh, you never know what can turn around. Four wheel drive. Disappointing as always. Living up to my standards. Uh, another ESC down the drain, so that's uh, about six a season, so uh, blowing up more stuff than the Taliban as far as I'm concerned. I don't know about four-wheel drive buggy next season. Just leads to bad feelings. <laughs> what are your plans for the off-season? Um, invest stock in Hobbywing, maybe, only because apparently I pay everyone's salary there with all the ESCs I buy from them. They may not want me to drive their products anymore, considering I can break all of them. Not their products, it's great, they're great. It's me. I'd like to thank RRL. I'd like to thank Cam. You know, all, all the post-production stuff that we don't see that he has to do for us. He makes me look good on camera, which is a, like almost impossible, but he does it. Once again, congrats to Jack Benam for his backyard racing title. For Tyler Hooks and our entire crew, I'm Cam Cohen. Thank you for watching.